Get ready to witness the sheer brilliance of Nelson Chamisa as he delivers a speech that ignited the hearts of millions. Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seat belts as we unravel and analyze the finest moment in his political career. And I say, why is it that Africa is quick to join the so-called superpowers when we are failing to think of Africa as a superpower? <laughs> why, why can't we begin to say, is it not possible for the region to sit down We start with Saddam? Diamond polishing is supposed to be done in Botswana. All of us will do the mining, but value addition is done in Botswana. Here's an example. Gold is going to be done in Egoli, South Africa. All of us do the mining, but we all have to make sure that our gold is value added in South Africa. Our journey begins in the vibrant continent of Africa, a land brimming with rich culture, untapped potential, and a history intertwined with countless struggles for independence and progress. As the sun sets, illuminating the vast plains and bustling cities, a young and dynamic leader emerges onto the scene, Nelson Chamisa. Zimbabwe will give you platinum or chrome, okay? Because you do chrome or depending on our synergies, we build Africa as a solid continent and as a superpower. It's possible. But it's a conversation that begins with also appreciating that we are one together. This whole thing of being divided on the basis of our boundaries that we're given to us. You know, boundaries that we have are not African. They are European. His opening remarks resonates like thunder, shaking the ground beneath their feet. He addresses the collective spirit of Africa. Chamisa wields a vivid tapestry of words, painting a picture of a united Africa bound by a shared history and a common destiny. So, you know, it doesn't matter how much we work as Africans, if we have not reversed the vestiges of colonialism that were imposed on us, we will not be able to be another thing. Do you know when you are an elephant, if they call you a rat, it doesn't matter how big you are in size, you will appear like a rat. What they call you is what you become. <laughs> So we have to be able to call ourselves who we are. Because we have been called rats when we are elephants. Okay? With passion burning in his eyes, Chamisa fearlessly unveils the momental challenges Africa faces today. He addresses the socio-economic disparities, political corruption, and the shackles of poverty that hinder progress. Chamisa's call to action ignites a fire within each listener, compelling them to believe in the inherent power they possess to shape a better future. Our kings have been called chiefs, yet you go to those who call us chiefs, they don't have chiefs in their own domestic jurisdictions, they have kings. Royalty must be treated as royalty. Not this habit of looking at a lion, you call it a cat, you know? And you accept when you are a lion that you are a cat. Even if it is you raw, they will say you are mewing. Okay? We have to rethink the continent and rethink our identity and rethink the boundaries, rethink what has been given to us, our names and our destiny. In this segment, Chamisa eloquently lays out a comprehensive roadmap to Africa Renaissance like a master architect designing an incredible masterpiece. With fervor and conviction, he highlights the importance of education, innovation, and technology as catalysts for progress. His words exude determination, pushing the envelope of possibility and reminding every African of the untapped potential that lies within them. Chamisa's vision is irresistible, emboldening the audience to dream bigger and take decisive actions 
towards a brighter tomorrow. With these powerful words, Chamisa reminds us all that Africa's destiny rests in the hands of his people, and it is our collective responsibility to shape a future that reflects the greatness within us. Until next time, keep chasing dreams, nurturing hope, seeking the truth, stay bold, my friends.